So you think that your toes got like this when you were doing a lot of running? That's why they they yeah. kept falling off and getting injured and probably so. All that. How many marathons have you run? Twenty. So um. that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Is um our hammer toes are they? Hereditary or no? Yes, what's hereditary is the foot structure that over time will allow them or cause them to happen. Right. So in your case, you've got these these high arches. Right. And uh, the tendons have to keep pulling back harder so that your foot can clear the ground when you're walking. Not so much running, but walking. Right. And eventually they keep pulling the toes up to clear the ground and eventually the toes just stay there. That's your particular kind of hammer toes. Yeah. No, other no, reasons no. people get them. But, um... Yeah, the Mega Miles would mm -hmm. certainly be a big plan to that. Obviously. Yeah. And did you lose these big toenails frequently? Um, no. I lose other nails, but not so much the big ones. Yeah. You're one of the few people who knows me when I was, or who knew me, knows me as a runner. Yeah. You know, most people in my life have no idea that I've run marathons, <laughs> that I ran marathons. That's right. Because I just, uh, you know, I just don't have that athletic look anymore. I just had to keep tabs of you so you'd never, never beat me. <laughs> <laughs> that was not likely to happen, ever. <laughs> You know, but I understand it, it helps still because I understand the goal of runners and my goal to keep them running. Absolutely. Well, when you're hanging out at Twin City Marathon Expos a lot, there's a reason for it. Yeah. Yeah. I love working with runners. Yeah. And to find somebody who understands runners' uh, needs, you know, that's, that's huge. Yeah, and then... Sorry, you were saying? Oh, I was just saying, and let the audience know that the ugly feet have gotten me a 232 marathon. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, ugly is all in the eye of the beholder. I call, you know, nails like these a badge of honor. That's right. For a lot of runners. It's a great way to look at it. Yeah. yeah. A 232 marathon. Yeah. yeah, there was no way I would ever even, you know, my time was like double that. I didn't have the talent to do it. I just uh, put in the work and mm -hmm. figured it out. And still wondered why I was 32nd out of 6,000 that year at Grandma's. And wondering what the 31 people ahead of me were doing differently. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you find out? Um, they weren't working. Um, <laughs> they had a job. So. And then uh, natural talent was uh, part of their equation as well. You know, I've always said with, because uh, you know that I was friends with those guys from uh, Decora. Right. And, and watching those guys was like watching gazelles. It yeah. was just so easy and natural and like they just glided. Right. Yeah. No, it's, uh, and even I talked in the third person because it's been so long ago since yeah. running was so effortless. So a lot of times on the videos we talk about how not all thick nails come from fungal infections. Right. And that, especially like in your case, um, it definitely could just be from the trauma of all the miles you put in. Yeah. That's a good point because I've uh, actually been checked out for a fungal infection through the years and they said nope. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. 
and then I'm just going to thin these out a little bit for you. Um, yeah, and then I'll just get this one callus and we'll call it a day for you. Right. Given that this isn't even what you came in for. But it'll feel better. Okay, so this kind of routine stuff, this is stuff they will do at the VA in the podiatry department. They just don't do the surgery. Right. So, I mean, you, you're welcome to come here. Um, you could also have them do it at the VA. So, yeah. so now they'll, these will all match. So just to recap, you, you didn't come in for the nails. I just didn't want to let you walk out with those nails. You came in because this hammer toe was, had last week had been rubbing and under the corn on top, there was an open sore. So today we're just rechecking that and we'll talk about fixing that hammer toe and straightening it um, if we need to. So, all right. Well, thank you.